Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial of Plexus. So today we're gonna talk about the construction of a road embankment, the construction of embankments. So before I start, if you're new to this YouTube channel and you love to learn and you're into engineering, just subscribe, it would be a great help. I will not only be making tutorial for Plexus, I will also be making tutorial about engineering, especially civil engineering. I've already made some videos. So let's start. Uh, as you know, these tutorials now are starting to be advanced. So I'm not gonna draw mm, the, the embankment since it's very easy. I'm gonna tell you how to draw it. But if you watched all my old videos, surely you know how to draw it. So let's start. The construction. Uh, before I start also, the purpose of this is for you to understand how a road embankment works and what are we doing. So I've seen a lot of tutorials on, uh, on YouTube where they only tell you how to draw uh, something. So it's not engineering. Uh, an engineer should know how, to, uh, how this works and what does it mean. So let's start. The construction of a road embankment on soft soil with a high groundwater level leads to increase in pore pressure. So there's water here. So when we put an embankment here, there will be consolidation of the clay. And since there's water here, there will be a uh, big pore pressure here. So as a result of this undrained behavior, because it's not drained, the effective stress remain, uh, remains low and intermediate consolidation period have to be adopted in order to construct the embankment safe. So that's what I said. We should wait for the consolidation period uh, to uh, diminish the pore pressure. So here to uh, diminish fastly the pore pressure, we're going to put... Uh, uh, we, we're gonna put here some uh, drains. We're gonna put some drains. So let's start. This is the input. The embankment is 16 meter wide and 4 meter high. The slope is 1 to 3. Usually, every embankment and every, uh, every dam that's made of dirt and earth is uh, 1 to 3 with the slope to ensure the stability of the slope. So here we, uh, we do the general settings, new project, I've already made those. And then we define the soil stratigraphy. This is the soil. And these are the material used. So you can pause the video if you want and put the materials. I'm not going to do it. So here, as you can see, we've put the uh, groundwater conditions. And then we decide to draw it. So let's start. This is the soil. I've made a borehole here. This is the borehole. You go to structure. We've drawn here as soil polygons. We've drawn these lines and then we've assigned to them uh, a drain. So this is the drain here. It's right click. So like here. Okay, so I've dated the lines. You right click on the line. So let's say I'm going to draw this line here. Right click, create drains. So I'm not going to do it right now. Control Z. So here we've also drawn this line by the cut tool. You can uh, see it here. This is the cut tool. This is the drain. If you want, you can read this PDF slowly and draw it. It will help you, of course. Then we've created the mesh, the flow condition, and this is the stage construction. So here, I want to tell you how we did the stage construction. So first of all, the initial phase where we give the initial pore pressure which is k0 procedure we put the boundaries and everything so now we're going to do a consolidation analysis as you can see we've made a consolidation analysis and we've put the time two days 
Then the second one is also consolidation analysis, stage construction. In this phase, no change to the terminality I made, as only consolidation analysis. So, but here we use 30 days. So I'm gonna show you here. This is the initial phase. At phase one, we've made this embankment in two days. So when you're constructing a road embankment, this here is two meter, it will take you usually two days to make. So when you finish all the road, which should be one kilometer, two kilometer, you go to phase two, which is the 30 day uh, consolidation period of the embankment here. Phase three, after one day, after the consolidation period is finished, you put the last embankment here. And this is the phase four and then phase eight. We've done also safety analysis. These are the safety analysis here. So these are all the phases here. You can read them one by one. So I'm gonna go directly to the output and we can see the results here. And see the formation so usually the problem with embankment is slope stability as you can see they go in this shape so if I put total displacement we can see it better here so this is the shape of the displacement it goes from up and down you can see also the total stress and also you can generate a uh, a chart you can do the time multiplier force so i've already talked about chart in previous tutorials so this is it for now thanks for watching